Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Terry. And I'm Jamie. And we're, and we're the, the Corn Husker State, State Stitchers. Stitchers. Today is Saturday, April 30th, 2022, and this is Floss Tube number 40. Welcome to our channel about cross stitching. Yay. We're glad that you're here. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much. We have colds, so mm -hmm. we both sound like crap, we look like crap, and we feel like crap. So, <laughs> But it's great, because we're, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so bear with us. Yep. We're still, it's one of those colds where it's all head congestion, and it's, it has nothing to do with motivation or anything, just just an annoyance. Yeah, my husband and I got it almost down to the minute of each other, mm -hmm. and then we saw Jamie that <laughs> night, and the next day she's like, thanks, guys. Yeah. No, in all fairness, <laughs> mom's like, I'm sick, and I'm like, that's fine. I Whatever, you know, just let it happen. <laughs> so she did warn me. Yeah. <laughs> that was my choice. So she wanted to see her mommy, so. Heck yeah. No, actually, we worked, so. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about that now or later? Sure. <laughs> she made me work. <laughs> I did. Well, and it wasn't until they got there, they're like, yeah, we haven't been feeling great. I'm like, guys. <laughs> um, we haven't done too much with the house up until the last two, three days, um, we called mom and dad, they came over and helped us take down some trees that, um, our property is very overgrown. There's a lot of neglected trees and a lot of volunteer Sapling trees and, yeah. and yes. Yeah, so, um, we're taking down what we need to take down, but we're not gutting the whole property. So there's plenty more to take out, plenty more to do. And she left a lot of big tall old trees that mm -hmm. are just totally dead yep need to come out so exactly it's a job and then jim came home yesterday i had the day off because it was arbor day um thanks for nebraska being an arbor day state um he comes over he comes home and he just starts taking out the brick in the fireplace area in the living room i'm like okay that's what we're doing today <laughs> so we filled up a giant roll off we filled up a couple of our other trash cans so we have half of the brick torn out in the living room. I, I sent her a text last night and said, have you eaten yet? And it was like 7.30. Because <laughs> I don't eat unless she goes with me. <laughs> That's not true. but I got to make her eat. So she sent, sends me a picture of Jim tearing up the fireplace. And she's like, not exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. <laughs> what next? Yep. We've had some storms the last couple of nights. So it's been really nice. Um, there are areas that are flooding. I know that much. But... Um, we need it. We need the rain so bad. Yeah. Our farmers, they're, they're going to struggle planting, I'm sure. But at the same point, the ground is so dry. It's not going to do any good. Yeah. And then we got so much rain so fast. It's just all running off. So mm -hmm. it's not doing a lot of good. But it's been very but, interesting. Yeah, such is life with mother nature. Yeah. Normal spring. So our spring, this usually happens in April. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely happening late April. It's going to go into May. So it's going to push back our normal spring very cold spring so far mm -hmm. windy very oh my gosh the wind yeah we we're having what 30 mile an hour sustained winds almost daily for two weeks yep gusts up to 50 60 on one occasion it gets old i'm here to tell you yeah <laughs> all right so easter we've had easter, easter since yep since the last video that was fun yep um we just got the four of us together and Cooked a huge breakfast and then played games the rest of the day. Yep. So that was kind of fun. It was good. I, we were playing heads up on my phone and we look up at the clock and it's six o'clock. I'm like, um, I'm hungry again. <laughs> yeah, we made breakfast and then we didn't even think about it until six o'clock. So yep. I wonder if anybody's open because we didn't plan on dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> but let's get into good. questions. Yes, let's do it. Um, we had one comment, um, we've gotten to a point where we find these fun comments that we want to read. Um, so we made a comment last week about the difference in Beatrice and Beatrice. Um, uh, Marilyn, Marilyn, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Marlene. Marlene, thank you. <laughs> um, we're going to blame it on cold brain. Being from eastern Nebraska, I didn't think there was anything wrong with your pronunciation pronunciation of Beatrice, but I really did get a chuckle out of your discussion on how 
<laughs> How much assembly was left on that beautiful quilt when you decided there were five quadrants? <laughs> yep, that's a new math term. <laughs> okay, so I want to explain something. <laughs> when we do assembly line sewing, Jamie pins everything together, puts it beside my sewing machine, and I just sew. Sew, sew, sew. So mm -hmm. I had no clue where we were in this quilt. Or, or what it looked like. Or what or it anything. looked like. So she finally just held it up, and it's like, oh, we did all that. And yes, we're doing two, so. Yep. Um, I didn't know if we were doing three quadrants, four quadrants, five quadrants. <laughs> I, th I think the point is quadrants means four. Oh. And there's, <laughs> and there's five. <laughs> <laughs> so Nancy had asked, she said, um, are we both quilting that large Halloween figs quilt? Yes. We're doing two of them. Pretty much everything we do, we do the same quilt, but we do two of them. Yeah. It's just... Just what we do. Otherwise, we'd fight over them. Right. <laughs> Diane had asked. She said that she's going to be going to Lincoln in May and wondered what we thought of the International Quilt Museum. So, Diane, we did get your messages. Yes. And we're going to... We're working on a schedule. Yes. But the International Quilt Museum. I think it's lovely. Um, I would definitely suggest going. Mm -hmm. I mean, for at, sure, least at least once. once. Yep. It's more like a an art museum type thing. They have um, millions of quilts, and they just rotate them out like monthly. Mm -hmm. So you could go once a month and never see everything. But you just you walk around little sections and just see the quilts they have on display, kind of like a, um, art. And it's picture. it's very much like art. They have the they have them hanging. They have the lighting. They have like five quilts per room in some instances. It's it's a museum and, gallery. Yeah, they sometimes feature um, specific quilters. Or cultures. Or cultures, or yeah. So, styles. like, Adina Sitar had hers featured, and then they had, like, five or six of her quilts on display at one time, and, mm -hmm. and they just rotate through that. Monthly. They're gorgeous quilts, and it's it's one where you can go in and just look at the workmanship that went into these quilts, so it's... And you can also buy tickets to do a, what they call a backstage... Mm -hmm. um, tour. Tour. That was worth it. So, that was they fun. take you back to the room, show you how they store all the quilts when they're not on display, and... Just walk you through all that, and it's yeah, it's worth it. Yep, but I'm I'm very much a behind the scenes kind of person. Me I like too. I like to know how things work. Yep. Um, DJB Quilts had asked she because I was talking about my uninvited guest and my stitches were slipping. Um, she said, "How can you prevent stitches from slipping under? And does it do it on one fabric more than another?" So what I found, and by no means am I an expert, just my own experience. Uh, they were slipping really bad on that 20 count Lugana, which was just a much softer weave. And how I prevented them from slipping when I remembered, I would stitch my, I would put my stitch in a different direction. So for example, my leg is always in the, in the same direction, but I would come in a different hole and down a different hole. So I wouldn't have a straight line in the back. I would, more like a continental tent stitch is is really the idea where you're um, putting a diagonal on the back side, so you're not just pulling it straight in line. I don't know if that makes sense at all, um, but those looser weaves are the ones I found that they slip under, and it's primarily over one. So if you stitch over two, you're not going to get it. Problem. Yep, because you have a lot more threads in there. That it's really the one thread that does it. YT's mom said, Jamie, are you going to have a space for your stitching and quilting? Yes. Absolutely. That is the plan. <laughs> it won't, it's not our first priority. Jamie would not be a happy person if she didn't have a sewing room. No. <laughs> That's a good point. So, we don't have a kitchen right now. We've got a sink and we've got a fridge. I don't have any counters. So, I, we went to the store and I bought just a six foot folding table and I'm like, I convinced my husband that <laughs> this was going to be for food prep and for anything that we needed to just put down and, you know, deal with because we didn't have any counters. And and then I proceeded to diamond paint on it for the next three days. <laughs> and set up a puzzle or was that on the other table? That's on the other table. Yeah, I cleaned off the kitchen table to put a puzzle on too. <laughs> um, Janine had asked, wait, sorry, Sandy. Um, she loves her quilting. Thank you very much. Um, do we ever miss our points? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Um, actually quite a bit. And it's not that, you know, we can quilt 
and get our points. But a lot of the times, me in particular, I don't care. <laughs> so I just go for it. So the ones that mom does on her own when I'm not here, <laughs> her points match. <laughs> Usually pretty good. <laughs> yep. I, I like what um, Eleanor Burns always said. If you screw something up like that, just hold it high and keep it moving and yep. nobody sees it. No. Or, like, she'll be showing you something and she'll put her finger right yeah. over the top of it. And she says, look at that. And you just can't see it. Yeah. But, yes. Yes, we do. We do miss our points. Absolutely. Jeannie or Janine had asked, um, she said when, because we had talked also about one of our, when we stitch in hand on linen, our stitches are very slanted and actually warp the fabric. Um, so she had asked, can it be stretched in blocks so that the design goes back to looking straight? Yes, it can. Um, in a lot of situations on those smaller ones, we don't worry about washing them and blocking them. So we just don't really take the time to do it. So we deal with it. Yeah. This is really what it comes down to. Um, Stonehouse Stitching had asked... We, um, she said, I love, love, love the Kim Deal quilt. I did too. That one was pretty. Do you know if the pattern is for sale? So this was the smaller blue quilt that we had shown last week. And it is a pattern that is called True Blue. And it is a part of her first Simple What Nots book. So she's got a second book out, but it's the first book. And then Robin had asked or said that she would like to quilt again and you need to absolutely get yeah. into it. Um, what would be a good suggestion on a pattern to start with? Jelly roll quilt maybe. And yes, um, anything with jelly rolls is, is a great place to start. Anything with nine patches, four patches, yeah, rectangles. Yep. I'd stay away from like maybe the stars and flying geese, things like that. Yep. I wouldn't do log cabins just yet because those warp a little bit. There's a few tips and tricks. Yeah. Um, speaking of jelly roll quilts, we've shown this before. Scott at our local quilt store, mm -hmm. um, Nebraska Quilt Company, put out his own book. And it's called Charming Jelly Roll Quilts. And this is a very good beginner book. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in, in this and just doing a jelly roll quilt, this would be a good book to start with. I would also say, too, that Internet's your friend. Um, there are so many free patterns out there to get you started. Um, Fat Quarter Shop has a great um, quilt tube, so to speak, where they have all their quilting stuff separate from their floss tube. They have tons and tons of videos, tons and tons of free patterns. Well, she did a beginner quilt series, too, mm -hmm. so on video. That would be a good one to check out. Yep. And then Cozy Quilt Designs is also a very, very fun um, type of patterns. They look complicated and intricate, but her pa way of she writes her patterns is really easy to follow. Yeah. Um, there was one thing I, I wrote it down in my notes. There was one thing that happened this week I forgot to tell you guys about. So my husband and I, as we've been going through the neighborhood, are like, oh yeah, you know, we're finding different critters out there. We found a fox. We, you know, the cats are out there like crazy. We've got barn cats. You know, the, the deer and the rabbits and the birds. <laughs> and we were driving through one night and it was dark. And this thing just scurries across the road. I'm like, okay, so got a bobtailed raccoon. Did it like get his tail cut off or something? I'm like, okay, so it's just a raccoon, you know, got in a fight or something, lost its tail. Well, I'm working at home and the dog, or bandit at least, is going nuts. And it's not a, hey, I'm just going to bark for the fun of it, Mark. It's something is, yeah, there. something is, is, is in our backyard. So I go back and look, and there's a pig just hanging out in our backyard, just wandering around, this cute little thing. And this is not a wild pig. No, no. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and insert a couple pictures of it. I, it was so cute. So I called Jim right away. I'm like, it was not a tailless raccoon. It was a pig. We've got a pig in our yard. <laughs> So I was just outside watching him walk around, and Jim was on his way home. He's like, I want to see the pig. I'm like, you're going to have to hurry, because this little thing is just going. <laughs> but I haven't seen him since. Mm -hmm. She sends me a text. It was not a raccoon that we saw in our yard. It's like, okay, <laughs> what is it? And then finally I get this picture of this pig. It's like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> he, was, he was really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So that's my story. That's your pig story. I have a bird that made a nest right up here outside my window in my drain gutter. Oh, yeah. Again? Yeah. They made one last year. Mm -hmm. It was a dove last year, and 
I think it's a dove again this year. I just haven't been able to get a good look at it. But yeah, she had a couple of babies last year and she's sitting on eggs this year. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's do some stitching. Let's do, finally. Oh, we did get this in the mail. Oh, yeah. We got a cute little Easter card. We got this from Janata, so thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Janata. That came in the day after our last video, so we didn't get to show it in yep. our Easter video. Let's do um, some whips. Whips. You want me to go first? I only yeah. have a couple. Go ahead. Okay, so... I had previously started... Summer by the Cricut Collection, and I have done, this is my fourth one. Um, I did spring, autumn, winter. And you finished and them. And I finished yeah. them. Okay, so I started this for Mania last year or the year before. And it's on coffee tea dyed Monaco, and I just was not liking it. I put it away for a year. Mm -hmm. Got some more fabric out and started again, and I really like it. This is, picture this plus fawn. So I got the S done and I started on the U. And it's a little lighter, but I think it's going to be really mm -hmm. cute. Yeah, that coffee tea dyed Monaco, it worked really good, but it just didn't have the color. It was too dark for summer, I yeah. think. I mean, summer to me is not dingy. Right. Right. That's a good fall color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dingy. <laughs> dingy. <laughs> okay, and then I worked some more on my America by Berber Smith. Love this one. I finished the heart. I started working a little bit on the sides. That looks really good. Yeah, it's turned out cute. And I was loving this stitch, and I just got a little bored, so I moved on to my summer. So this is kind of my focus piece, and I'm just going to be back and forth on it. I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all I've all I've been doing. And that's I a lot. I did finish a quilt that you'll see later. But. Yes, that is a lot. Um. So in true Jamie fashion, I have, a, I have quite a few whips. I worked on my Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit, Frosty Morning. I'm doing this on 14 count pewter. And I got the right um, part of the tree in. So all these branches and stuff. I was working on this on Monday, part of Mill Hill Monday. All those little ways to do some stitching is kind of fun. So then on the next day, I decided to work on my closest to a finish and that it was my um, Snowman Trio by Country Cottage Needleworks. I did this one on 14 count, I almost called it coffee tea dye, <laughs> chalkboard black Ada. Wow, that looks really good it's on that so fabric. so cute. So did you end up changing any of the colors on that? I did. What did I do? Hold on. Pardon me for a moment. Did you make the black blacker? No? I actually changed all the colors. So hopefully you guys can read this. That's what I changed it to. Um, but I did do black it's instead basic, of... basic. Basic colors. Yep. And so 3371 I did black instead. And it works really good. That looks really nice on that fabric. Yay. Good job. Thanks. So I got that done. So then the next week I decided to work on my next one that was closest to a finish. And this is my um, Chalk Full Bloom by Hands on Design. And I did the pillow down here. Uh, I also did this on coffee. <laughs> Chalkboard Black Ada 14 count. And actually did not change... The majority of the colors. There is a light two um, stitches in each leaf. I did change that. It called for lettuce leaf, um, but I didn't want that. It was kind of a tealy color. So I just used Olive Branch by Classic Color Works. So then I needed to put some love in on my temperature tree because it had been a minute since I'd worked on it. So this is my temperature tree by Stitchy Mommy on Etsy. She released this for her 2020 um, year, but I love this pattern, so I chose it. I am doing mine on 32 Count Garden Path Lugana by Color and Cotton. And I got a lot more done. I finished January and February, and then I got the April branch in. Those colors look really nice. Yes. 
they're really just I'm really glad I changed my colors too and made the range a little bit better there is one I was trying to find it see if I can oh I haven't stitched it that's why um we had a we talked about this in our last video where it was 93 degrees and then it was or 92 and then it was 52 the next yeah. day which is basically basically what it's doing right now yeah it's cold out there <laughs> then I cold for me <laughs> she's always cold I'm always cold and then I worked on my oldest whip because this week was the week of um I don't know just stitching Getting with a theme done. or something yeah um country cottage needleworks bless our home I'm doing this on 28 count coffee tea dyed of Monaco called for colors oh with the exception of the roof the roof and the flagpole are the same color and then um that's a different color too if somebody made a comment that they want us to do a video <laughs> where we do nothing but say the word rough because yeah. she liked the way we said it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I didn't know we said it any different. Yep. My husband actually says it. How does he say it? Roof. 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 Rough. <laughs> I say it rough. But I got this white in. I got the picket fence white in. And then um, I can't remember if I did the tree trunk, but I did the tree leaves. And it was that picket fence, not that one. I worked on this one for only 120 stitches, but it was still progress. This is my Together We Stand Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by Jody Bergsma. I'm doing this one on 25 count Easy Count Lugana. And I just got these stitches in here. But it's looking really good. So why are you doing that in a hoop and not a scroll frame? Uh, I took that to work, actually. Okay. So that one is a small enough project. It's actually, it's a mini. So it's only yay big, which I know you don't have perspective, but um, I can easily take it to work. And then I worked on shadows yesterday. It's my favorite. I think I got 260-ish um, stitches in. You're not going to see a huge difference. But I worked on this guy. And it I've got it on Etsy. Um designed by Missy Cross, art by Jesse Williard. And I'm also doing this one on 25 count easy count Lugana. I'm not gonna take it out of the um Q snap, but I just got these stitches in right here. And this is the side of his cheek. There's his eye right up there. It's coming along. But I got black for years, so. Yeah. Was it 49 skeins? If we have 47 skeins 47 of black, skeins. yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to work on my diamond painting. I had I have one last diamond painting. Um, I dabbled in it, for those of you who might be new. I dabbled in it last year with War Horse, and I finished that one. I just got it off of Amazon. And I got this one at the same time. This is kind of a patriotic piece. And I'm going to show it back here so you can see the piece itself. And then when I started this weekend, or this week I should say, I only had the corner done. So I only had about that much done. And I got all of this done in through here. And it just sparkles. That was really fun. I'm obsessive about it. I like that. And then I started the puzzle yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working on that. So I'm just all over the place. But it's great. Those are my wits. I don't make time for anything other than stitching or quilting. I mean, even my knitting. It's like I don't make time for it. And I love doing it. Mm-hmm. You should make time for it. I like stitching so much. I know. I'm just scatterbrained. I'm and... obsessed. <laughs> yeah. I'm focused. Yeah, there you go. You're scatterbrained. I squirrel. Focused. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> okay. Shady. Um, mm. You had an FFO? I did. I don't have it with me, but a friend of mine had her birthday um, in this last two-week two, two week period. And I had um, a butterfly, and we'll go ahead and insert a picture here. 
Um, I did it on 28 Count De Bloom by De Bloom by Pictures Plus. I got the pattern on Etsy. And I did modify the colors a little bit. And then I just found a frame at Michael's and I um, went ahead and framed it, put it on sticky board. Um, it's not an heirloom piece, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And she absolutely loved it. She's going to throw it throw it up. She's going to put it up in her um, craft room. Yeah, so. I find that really cute. Yes. What crafts does she do? Um, she painted a, she does um, painting, so she paints signs and stuff. Okay. Um, but she also just tinkers with crafts all over. Does different things. She refinished a hutch in her in her living room. And... We got to get her on cross stitching. Yeah, yes, exactly. So, okay. Do you have any hauls? Do I have haul? I do have a little bit of haul. Um, I don't have anything this time. I mean, I got my you... punch needle and primitive stitcher magazine, but you've seen that all over the internet. You don't have any cross stitching haul, but we got quilting yeah. haul. Um, Heaven and Earth had a sale for Easter. I did not check this morning, but they have a sale going on right now. Um, so I'm not sure if it's still happening today, but check it out if you're interested. And this is a Quick Stitch Wishing Tree 1 um, artwork by Jeremiah Kettner. And it is just a portion of a bigger cross stitch. And I'm going to do this one for Jim's grandma. She really loves owls. And it's only 175 by 178. So, you know, only. Like, I'll finish it in, like, still five years. But that's fine. <laughs> so I got that. And then um, I also got this pattern. So this is a pattern that um, I've seen for qu quite a few times. I've seen it um, for quite a few years, too. Very interested in it, but Pam, with Pam and Steph, has been working on it and just yeah. finished it. And I'm like, you know what? I have to get it. It's time. This is the Halloween Mantle by Bent Creek. I love all their mantles, but this one is pretty pricey and um, couldn't buy more than one at a time. But it comes kitted. That's the only way you can get the pattern. It's, sorry, three patterns in one. Not in one. You have to buy three patterns to get it. Um, the first one, you get like this. It has just that portion of it. it has the fabric with it. And all the um, pearl cottons, because it does use pearl cottons. And it's pre-portioned. This is 18 count. I'm not sure what kind of fabric, but 18 count. Did it come in that too? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to have to buy this. Yep. And then the second pattern has that much... And then third is obviously com complete. And it's got all the little buttons with it, too? Yes. Yep. I like that. That's, I've been looking at it since Pam has been doing it. And it's like, oh, I love that. They have a um, stocking mantle one. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's Christmas, and they have five stockings. I think there's a patriotic mantle. Ugh, I want all of them, but it's a little pricey. Yeah, it is pricey. It yeah. was worth it. And then um, Mom and I both got this quilt kit. It was one that I had seen on Fat Quarter Shop. Absolutely loved it. It's blue. And I did the notify me when in stock. So the second I got the email, I called mom. I'm like, this is happening. Are you on board? <laughs> Actually, no. I sent her an email. <laughs> it said, I don't need this. I don't need, I don't this. need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Or do or I? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> so if you do, I do. Yep. So this is the Perseverance Quilt Kit. This pattern can only be found in the Jolly Bar from Fat Quarter Shop. But as you, when you get the whole kit, you get the Jolly Bar and then the extra sashade and binding and everything else. And then we bought backing to go with it. Yep. I'll just have Jamie show hers because I haven't opened mine yet. So, mm -hmm. so that's mine. But it is gorgeous. It is. It's by... It's by... Um... It's the Starlight Gatherings Collection by Primitive Gatherings. I love Lisa Mungie. Yes, I love her stuff. I do too. Okay. Okay. That's all of our haul. That is. Okay. Um, we got a little bit of quilting. I have quilting. Woo woo. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it seems like we're missing something. <laughs> um, so I did another Kim Deal quilt. This one's called Pride and Joy. Mm -hmm. I started it. It was a block of the month, right? Yeah. 
I'm kind of leaning away from yeah. you. <laughs> it was a block, it was of, a block month. of the month back in 2017, and I think we gathered all of ours and then started it um, in 2018. Mm-hmm. So we'll grab that real quick. We'll pause it and grab it and show it to you. All right, here it is. It's a very busy quilt. And like I said, it was put out as a block of the month. We got all of our blocks at, at one time and then did it in 2018. I think we got it from the back order shop too, didn't we? Yeah, you did one too, didn't you? Yep, yep. I just haven't quilted mine yet. Okay. So I just, um, I finished the top around 2018 and just got it off the long arm and then put the, the binding on it and made my quilt label. So there's my quilt label. Mm -hmm. just did it on my embroidery machine. I just love her, her fabrics. Yeah. And if you guys do have the pattern or know of the pattern, you'll see that there are medallions in each one of these light flying geese. We did not add those to ours. Yeah. That was that, and it was 65 by 65. Is that what we yep. said? Okay. Roughly. Um, she, her pattern, that pattern, does have some woven fabrics in mm -hmm. it. And we learned a lot about doing woven since then, and I think they're a little squirrely. They're mm -hmm. fun to work with, but they're a little squirrely. So I think the next time we do it, I think if we starch it really good to begin with, it'll be a lot easier yep. to and, do with. And we have wovens on our Navajo um, quilt block, or quilt block of the month. So we'll give it a shot on that. Yeah. Okay. Hope you like that. Yes. That was a fun quilt to do. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it for cross-stitching and quilting. Plans. Wait. Mania. Looking at the table. Yeah, so we are I'm, entering... I'm winded. I just got up and showed the quilt, and I'm winded. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the last day of April, so tomorrow is the first part of... First part of May. It is the first day of May. Um, a lot of people in the cross-stitching community are doing mania. Um, we did mania for the first two years that we really got back into cross-stitching, um, there was a... Which is why we have so many whips now. <laughs> yep, yep. There's a... Was a Facebook group that started Mania. They are no longer um, active. I think they actually closed down the group. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Where they did 15 new starts for the first 15 days in 2020, 2015. And it's just evolved from there. And people do anything and everything. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah, so the first... Two years, we did 31 new starts, a new start every day. Um, last year, I tried to work on each whip the day that it happened the previous year. That didn't work out for me. I think I did a week, and then I'm like, I'm bored. Um, so this time, I'm going to try. We'll see how this goes, but I'm going to try. I have a wheel, so I have an Android phone, and I have the Decisions Roulette app. And I put in all of the whips that I have not touched yet this year, and I'm going to spin it, and then I'm going to work on them for two, three days. I'm planning on three days, but I'm going to do that instead of one whip every day. So I want to get some progress on each one. So we'll see how that goes. I am a little undecided. I mean, I need to make a decision because tomorrow is May mm -hmm. 1st, but I think I'm going to do what Jamie did last year is the plan so far. Um, I'm going to start. I've got my three books. And I'm going to start with all of my oldest whips and try and do a day on the oldest whip mm -hmm. and see if I can, at the end of May, see which one I really, really like. And then that's going to be my focus piece. Yep. I think that'll be fun. That's the plan now. So what about America? You America started... is my second oldest one. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with um, Knee High is my oldest, oldest. Knee High by the 4th of July. And I'll just work on that for a day and then I'll work on America for a day. And Are you just... going to then? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because I can't go a month without touching it. So at least that'll give me a day with it. Is that why you're over there petting I know. It? I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, enjoy the first part of May. Enjoy whatever's happening in your guys' life. Um, thank you for being here. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. I'm at Cornhusker State Stitcher. And Jamie is at Jamie Mickelson. Be sure to like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell if you want any notifications on when we post videos. And we do appreciate you taking your time to spend a little bit of time with us. Yep, and comments. We love the comments. Yep. Thank you, and we'll see you in a couple weeks.
拜拜。